Invest 91B hasn't been designated yet, despite evidence of quite some intensification. That's because it struggled with some wind shear, as you can see on its initial frames of the satellite loop. Current location 11.1 degrees north, 88.1 degrees east. And we believe it's a tropical storm intensity with 50 miles per hour sustained, 993 millibars and moving to the north-northwest at 7 miles per hour, that's latest at 9.30 hours Myanmar, 8.30 hours India, or 3, three hours <laughs> of uh, central time on May 11th, 2023. Since it's not a tropical storm officially, we couldn't bring you a, a wind field estimate, so we are skipping that for today. And about the locations, uh, this storm is located about 460 kilometers to the west of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, 800 kilometers to the northeast of Sri Lanka, 890 kilometers to the east southeast of Chennai, India, and 1,120 kilometers to the south southwest of Sitwe in Myanmar. No warnings, watches, or storm surge watches in effect yet. And well, this is an estimate of what it's going, what it's happening right now with the with the system. We believe it's a 50 miles per hour sustained wind system, a 40 miles per hour estimate by the Indian Meteorological Department as maximum, maybe 35 miles per hour. Like Joint Typhoon Warning Center is believing that it's the current intensity of the system right now. And this is the possible track that this storm could. Uh, could take in the next days and it's going to take a curve to the northeast possibly by the next day or so and intensifying rather quickly as it approaches Myanmar and then making landfall uh, nearby Sidweb by May the 14th possibly uh, as a very severe cyclonic storm or a severe cyclonic storm. The sea surface temperatures are really warm with uh, temperatures ri rising from 30 to 31 degrees Celsius in, so in some spots of 32 degrees Celsius, which is completely favorable for further intensification, has everything to, uh, to intensify rather quickly if the environmental conditions are conductive as well. And about the maximum winds expected from the system, since wind shear is quite uh, marginal right now, uh, the intensity of the system is something to debate yet, but it's expected to be possibly a category 3 or a low-end category 4 tropical cyclone on the Saffir Simpson scale. Could be a little bit lower, but depends on how uh, the environmental conditions uh, behave. And the rainfall, well, between 8 to 12 or even 16 inches in many parts, mainly in the ocean but also in Sidway, in the, in the coastal parts of Sidway in Myanmar and also in some parts of Bangladesh could receive uh, between 4 to 8 inches of rain which is quite some amount and of course this is something to take in consideration. And the multimodal diagnostics, well this is the possible maximum sustained winds that the system could, uh, could be, possibly a category Two category three system, as you can see on the red uh, line. Uh, that's that's on May the 14th before making landfall, and the blue purplish uh, line. It's expecting a little bit more intense system, possibly a category three or even a category four tropical cyclone, but still something to not take for granted yet, since it's a three to four day forecast and it's subject for many changes. This is the deep layers uh, forecast. It's expected to remain quite uh, marginal mid levels of wind shear. So this is going to be the main factor of why 
possibly a uh, rapid intensification may not occur maybe some gradual but not like that rapid intensification of the system but still not enough to prevent to be as significant as it's, as it's being expected and of course the possible track that it's going to take the sea surface temperatures really warm 30 31 degrees celsius some spots of 32 and the humidity is going to decrease in the next uh, days so dry air is going to be also a main factor of maybe uh, this possible tropical cyclone uh, may may weaken also before making landfall hopefully does so but this is something to see in the next days and this is the satellite presentation of 91b struggling a little bit but maintaining it sucked together circulation really well defined and you can see that on force 13's website all the floaters imagery new tools we have for you in the website so please check them out as soon as possible that's all for now See you in the next update.